presidency condemns hashtag Igbo must go propose protest in Lagos. Can you imagine? So now that they have come out to propose a protest to see Igbo must go in Lagos and of some other southwestern states shows the tribal bagot trade that the Yorubas have against the Igbos. The Aosas did their own for eight years against the Igbos for during the Buhari's government. Now the Yorubas have entered, they continue the same thing against the Igbos and it's unfortunate. And now the Ohaneze and so many prominent Igbo men have said this is unacceptable. You can't come every time a Igbo must go. During the 2023 general election in Lagos, they said Igbo must go. And they started destroying Igbo businesses, Igbo properties. And immediately, uh, uh, what is his name? Somolu entered the second time. The next thing he started was to start demolishing Igbo properties one by one, all in the name of uh, uh, you know, uh, regulatory compliance. This is very bad. Now, protest is starting. Igbo said they are not going to be part of the protest. But they are still hanging the protest on the Igbos, even when they are, they are not involved, even when they don't have hand in it. This travel bagotry must stop, I'm telling you. They are, they are beating drum of, drum of war, and I just hope that it don't get out of hand. Because if it gets out of hand, I don't think they will survive. The presidency has condemned those behind hashtag Igbo must go proposed protesters protests slated to hold in Lagos and other southwestern states. That is the problem. So now go and arrest them if you can. Eh? Go and arrest them. Because if it is somebody else that is doing that now from other tribes, especially from the southeast, they would have arrested them. DSS would have arrested them by now. Uh, MC Olomo had been misbehaving in, in, in Lagos. Then the, some other people that are, uh, you know, key Lagos were misbehaving. Even Tinubu's daughter came to tell people not to warn people not to protest. What who who does that? And they will not arrest them. The Tinub, the, the Lagos thugs that came out live to say if they burn Igbo well, made them come and come protest. They have not done anything to him. And now if it's Igbo that are doing that, they will shout. Now presidency is not coming to condemn this hashtag Igbo must go in Lagos. You let them try it first. Because the thing is, is just getting out of hand. When they say Nigeria is not one, they take it a joke. Nigeria is not one, and obviously will never be one. Sino special assistant on new and digital media to President, President Bola Tinubu, Otega Ogra, said those calling for protests against Indigbo and stoking ethnic tensions in the country are diseases and dangers to the society. He noted that Nigerians, irrespective of ethnic and religious leaning, are united and one as enshrined in the constitution he called on security agencies to move against those behind the call they will not they will never i'm telling you they will never arrest anybody everything is Igbo. the hatred against the Igbo is quite unfortunate it is my firm and personal belief that anyone who attempts to stoke ethnic or religious tensions in Nigeria under any guise or for any reason is a disease and a danger to society and should be held accountable under the law. This behavior is extremely reckless and dangerous in a country made up of over 350 million, 350, over 350 ethnic nationalities eh, with diverse religious eh, beliefs. So Nigeria stands as one unified nation guided by constitutional law. So when we succeed, we do so together as Nigerians. When evil strikes, it affects all of us without discrimination based on ethnic, religious, or religio regional, sorry, regional origins, Ogra said on Friday. So President Tinubu's new media aid called on Nigerians to make it a duty and report all by God's funding ethnic uh, hatred. They're the Lagos. They don't need to go anywhere to find them. They're Lagos and Abuja. They're there. Yeah? He said the president cannot condone any form of bigotry and advise Nigerians to unite against the propagandas, propagators of hatred across ethnic and religious divides. You'll be found out that they will go and look for Igbos now and say Igbos are tribal bigots. They will leave the Yorubas that are causing this problem. And this is Tinubu's strategy to create divide and rule use ethnic uh, uh, differences, cause ethnic dichotomy and use it to cause more problems so that he can continue to stay in office. That is the truth. 
this is Tinubu's strategy, and I don't think they can. They are ready to stop it. And if you are calling for the arrest of anybody that is stoking ethnic uh, bigotry, they, they won't arrest them. They won't arrest them. It's quite unfortunate that we're in this mess. I plead with you and urge all patriotic Nigerians to report any instances of bigotry and incident incendiary remarks, whether online or offline, to the appropriate law enforcement agencies. President Bola Metinubu is a president and leader for all Nigerians, as um, he has consistently stated, and does not condone any form of bigotry. Ooh, see, see, see hypocrisy. So to my fellow young Nigerians, please do not allow yourselves to be manipulated by those elements who have failed and are now seeking to lead you astray to cast stones at your fellow Nigerians in the name of ethnic or religious divisions. So what are you trying to stage now? Eh? Ortega. So who has failed? Failed in what ways? In what area? They sit calmly in their houses and hide behind their wicked men while they employ on the underhand means to make you do their bidding. Do not allow anyone to poison your minds against your fellow Nigerians, irrespective of your or their political leanings. Can you imagine? I therefore call on all patriotic young Nigerians of good conscience to condemn this behavior, no matter which political uh, or rejoice affiliations we belong to, Ogra appeal. So the truth here is that this is APC style, this is Tinubu style, and this tribal bagotry was not even there so much during Buhari time. Even though it was, because Igbos, I mean, like Europe, our has proved openly how they hate the Igbos. So now, um, and Tinubu said they will continue from where Buhari stopped, he's showing it right now. And and they think we, people don't know. We are seeing it. And the Igbos know. That is why they said they will not be part of this protest. Because at the end of the day, it is the Igbos they will target. Okay, look at now. They are not even protesting and they are still the target. So what, what nonsense is this? It is a sheer hypocrisy as this was planned. Hatched, baked, midwifed, and carefully executed in and by the presidency. The presidency is only hiding its broad face behind its slim fingers. Okay, Onanoga in the cook and steward of the of the ethnic profiling of the egos supported by Shoyinka and co. Exactly. They can't say they don't know about it. It is a coma flag. They have planned it for long. They should put it in writing. Let us go. No problem. Exactly. Let, let them put it in the writing and let the both go. They will leave. By an honor guard that trend the narrative. Okay. Is he no longer in the presidency? Why the stress of self-deceit? Exactly. By another guy is, in, is, is part of the presidency who started all of this thing. Uh, what is his name? Uh, uh, the Renault Mokri, who, who I don't know whether it's a PDP or APC, is supporting them. And they say anybody stoking it, they should they should arrest the person. What about another guy that is calling Peter Obi when Peter Obi is not involved in the protest? Yeah? So, so they've started it and they have spoken to themselves to, to continue it. And this is very bad. The proposers are looters who want to loot what they did not work for. They are lazy idiots. Exactly. Because when they see Igbo must go, before Igbo start packing their things, they start looting their stores. That is it. They start they will start looting their stores. This is very bad. Who is begging them? Let them start it. Okay. We will go if they want, but let them be ready to face it hard way. We are not afraid. Exactly. Eh? You are not different from them. Everybody can stand on their own. Be mindful of your comment. No ethnic will face anything uh, anything, or die of hunger. Be guided. Can you imagine this one? Eh? They've started it. You are dying of hunger already. So shut, <laughs> shut, shut, shut it up. Exactly. They are dying of hunger already. Eh? They are already dying. They being power. They are even the people shouting a bit. You are okay. Note that you are doing the same thing you claim to be against now, making unsubstantiated accusations based on tribalism. What do you mean? Based on what? Which kind? Okay. And hatred is evil. It must be condemned by all. 
all these people. Eh? The president knows the game he is playing. So Bayo Nanoga is no more the president shall be or presidential spokesperson. It is now Ogra. Tinubu thinks we are dumb. We are watching. But nobody is dumb. Everybody knows what is happening. Bayo Nanoga has been the presidential spokesperson championing the cause against the Igbos. I wonder why Ortega is speaking for the presidency now. That is the problem. Bayo Nanoga should be summoned for questioning by the, for questioning by DSS. He is the person responsible for this call. He started it. He started it, not be lie. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment over this call for, um, you know, Indigo must go from Lagos.